What's up guys? Welcome back to another weekly vlog by yours truly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so cringy. Hello guys, it's Monday and I thought I'd do another, um, you know, tag along on my week, see what I'm up to, more of the behind the scenes of my life and just more of a authentic, non, you know, filtered way. We're going to the grocery store. I need everything. I'm literally out of like everything at the house. So doing a big grocery haul later today. And then also I mentioned this last week. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, that I need a car wash. So I still need one. So I'm definitely doing that today. And that's so far what's going on. And then tonight it is Bachelor Monday, which I'm so happy about. I am loving this season with, um, I almost said Dale. Oh my gosh. Speaking of Dale, have you guys heard about the Claire Dale drama? Crazy. Honestly, I could have saw it coming that they were going to break up because it just seemed all very rushed and more one-sided on Claire's side. Anyways, still really sad. I feel for her because that sucks. Anyways, but I am loving Matt Jane season matt james uh, season i think it's absolutely amazing it honestly feels like i said this on my instagram stories it feels very much like normalcy back into our lives very bachelor-esque and it just feels really good watching it anyways so that's kind of the plan it is again gorgeous out i don't know how we're getting so lucky here in bc because january february is always our coldest months and a ton of snow but none of the snow has been sticking so it's been fun let's go grocery shopping grocery shopping I didn't really shoot inside I actually completely forgot that I was vlogging and then obviously we got a car wash so the jeep is looking back to me stunning but I thought I would show you guys a little grocery haul because it's quite a big one let me just pick up my tripod so you guys can kind of see the situation so I know I really need to get big like grocery reusable grocery bags because I have like small ones for produce but I don't have big ones and that's something that I want to be using um, in 2021. First things first, always get a ton of fruits and vegetables. So I have little raspberries. Raspberries is probably my favorite fruit next to strawberries. Uh, okay, I always get these little rice packets. Literally, you put them two minutes into the microwave and it's done. Like I have not used a rice cooker. I cooked it on the stove top and like years so if you haven't done this yet i so highly recommend it i'm just gonna put all this behind here i actually do need to do like a fridge clean out so i'm gonna be doing that and reorganizing the fridge lots of avocados super yummy parmesan cheese i shouldn't be having dairy but you know, honestly it's okay at least it's like aged, right? So there's no lactose. So at least I'm doing like somewhat okay. Tortilla chips. Um, love nachos, taco salad, chips and salsa. Literally, you'd be surprised how fast these go. So I got two this time versus one. Um, skinny pop. I usually get boom chicka pop, but they were all out. So this is virtually the same thing. Broccolini. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. Um, they are these like coconut milk, hundred calorie ice cream sandwiches. Ooh, they are delicious. I needed more fruit for smoothies. So I just got this big assorted bag. So sometimes I really like to switch out my wine glass for kombucha. So it's still kind of like a fancier drink and I obviously just love kombucha. So I grabbed these two. This is a ginger and this is a passion fruit. I've actually already tried this brand, super delish, also nail sabotaged. Um, but yeah, super yummy. And then I just needed some rice vinegar so I can make some really good, like yummy teriyaki chicken rice bowls. Cookies that Wyatt has already broken into. Um, I really won't be having these, but this is more so for him. <laughs> these are my guilty pleasure. I literally love noodles with all my heart. It's so good. I know it's so high in sodium, but I just like can't not have it. Rice crackers for charcuterie boards. 
And obviously, Smart Sweets, so good. More noodles. Two things of almond milk. Lots of bananas. Two almond creamers. I literally feel like that song that's like, one, da 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 two, da 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 You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> that was so cringy. Literally, I don't know why the last few times, Rufus, attitude. <laughs> the last few times about the grocery store, almond creamer has been like a hot commodity, so stack that one too. Taco shells, big taco fan, obviously. And then this big um, salad thing. We're almost done. Bean sprouts, shredded carrots, tomatoes, and snap peas. Um, this is primarily for a little stir fry action or obviously can be added into any salads. And then I already have a bunch of meat in the freezer but I was getting low on chicken, so picked up chicken. And then um, breakfast sausages. Honestly, so good. And that's all. So now I'm going to organize the fridge. I think there's like leftover food in there and it seems like a good kind of, you know, clean and then I can organize all this. And that's about it. myself a glass of kombucha I picked the ginger one for tonight's bachelor episode I'm going to go put on some comfies and then I'm going to watch and I think hopefully why will join me for this episode but we'll see cheers you are out there everything you've been through did you hear <laughs> somebody's entertaining men <laughs> for a living. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Okay, so I am on my way to get my nails done this morning. This one is completely just popped right off. I just sneeze. Okay. Okay, just got home. I'm about to scarf down this veggie bagel from Islands Cafe. It's literally so good. And then today's actually a shoot day, so I'm going to be finally dealing with this situation. Finishing up my makeup. Um, and yeah, I'm shooting. Okay, I'm Okay, so I just finished shooting, just got home, going to have a little snack, hang out, edit my photos, do some emails and stuff like that. I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I am wearing. Um, this is from Windsor, this is Nasty Gal, and then again, my jewels are from the Sunday Club, and I just threw my hair up on this little rock clip, and that's it. Okay, so Wyatt surprised us with a last minute cave therapies mineral bath appointment. Um, I post it quite a few times on my Instagram stories and it's literally the best thing. It's just like a fancy hot tub with a bunch of like mineral, what? Essential oils? <laughs> with essential oils and it like this. <laughs> Minerals and essential oils. I actually can't talk. Um, and the roof looks like a sky because it looks like little stars and stuff and you get like chocolate covered strawberries and champagne and then you have like your own private room before and after and then after there's like tea and a little treat. Anyways, so we're being spoiled tonight. <laughs> nice hoodie. This guy literally takes all of my clothes. They're comfy. They're <laughs> always like... Extra large. Double, like. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna go relax. Um, we have our bathing suits and yeah. I forgot my bathing suit. You didn't. No, I did. Someone's going naked. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see and hear me, but I quickly wanted to show you guys the little room. So this is the mineral bath. You get some towels and then there's like chocolate covered strawberries, champagne, water, candles. There's a shower right there. And then look at that. So cool. 
Okay, so we just finished, but I wanted to show you guys um, the little snack after. It's always different each time. So this kind of looks like a little coconut, maybe peanut butter ball. And then it comes with um, green tea. Hello, today we are going thrifting. I actually can't remember the last time I vlogged. Regardless, we are gonna go thrifting. As I said, I am a huge thrifter. If you guys know me and follow me on Instagram, I love finding secondhand. And I just, I love scouring stuff and like making it my own. So anyways, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, and I'm gonna be bringing you guys along as usual. So I woke up this morning, I did some emails, and then I worked out, and I just finished getting ready. This is my makeup look. <laughs> Not that it's anything crazy. Do you wanna go thrifting? Do you wanna go thrifting? Okay, let's go. Okay, so pretty successful, not as good as like my other thrifting hauls, um, but still not bad. I'm still very happy on the things that I picked out. So we're gonna head home. I'm literally going to pee my pants. Um, but yeah, and then I'll do a little um, haul. guys happy friday we made it through the week i am sitting in my new studio if you guys saw my last vlog i was um completely tearing apart this whole room so that i can use it for exactly these purposes so i'm finally gonna go through all the things that i thrifted yesterday with you guys um some of its clothes some of its decor it's all cleaned sanitized we're good to go and i also went thrifting last week so i figured i would add that in also into this little thrifting haul um, but let's get right in. I thought we would start with clothes and accessories first. Okay, so the first one is this little cropped fuzzy knit. It's like light pink. Super cute. It's kind of like retro-y. I really like the, um, the quarter sleeves here. So I think this would be so fun for like spring content. I've literally already been shooting kind of in like spring vibes and it's literally still winter. And I'm pretty sure there's snow on the ground right now, but my mind is just like sun, I'm ready to travel, uh, manifesting it in every aspect of my life. But yeah, so I think this is gonna be super fun, especially with like Valentine's Day coming up. Okay, so the next thing is super fun and funky, and it is this little feather um, purse. It still has a tag on it, it was $7, literally a steal. I just think it's so fun and cute and unique and I would honestly use this for like dressing up. But yeah, I think it's so fun. I mean, you won't be able to really see it cause I'm like sitting down, but like little black dress or like a pink dress. So cute. I think it's just so fun. I don't have anything like this and I wanted something a little funky and I'm really trying to just like step outside my comfort zone and just try new um, fashion trends and whatnot. And I've been kind of seeing this okay, the next thing is like super basic but it's just like this like white tee um i'm pretty sure it's from walmart i know it's really trendy right now to have like crew necks and like the collar sticking out kind of like that like cute gossip girl school girl kind of vibes so i've yet to style that for this season and i'm a little late to the game but better late than never i know that on amazon you can find just like this like thing that goes over your head and it's just that part it's not actually a shirt but I'm not that cool. So I literally just came across this and I was like, this would be kind of perfect to style um, coming up. Okay, and then the next thing is this super oversized blazer. I love the whole feminine mixed in with like masculine fashion. I've been doing that a lot lately and I think it's so fun. So it's super big, oversized. I always go to the men's section. Honestly, I feel like that's where you can find a lot of really good things. Um, so I'm excited to style this. You can literally style this with like a belt around it. You can wear like oversized jeans and like a little crop top. You can wear shorts. Like literally you can do whatever you want with this. Um, I just think it's so cool and rad and I don't have a blazer that is this print. So to tie that all kind of in my blazer, I found this little like vintage belt. I think it's just such a cute little detail. It's definitely like worn through, but like you literally can't even tell when you're taking photos and it's actually meant for your waist and it gets pretty tight so it's perfect um yeah so this is super cute to style this with my oversized blazer 
Okay, so this next one is a super yummy, chunky, long, <laughs> oh, that, I feel like that was the weirdest explanation ever. Um, massive cardigan. Let me just get my life together here. <laughs> okay, this is it. I know it looks ridiculous on camera, but I love this color. I'm literally wearing this color right now. It's just like perfect for like spring and stuff, just super cozy. And I was kind of picturing like wearing like um, a bralette and like high-waisted underwear and this and like cooking in the kitchen vibe. I'll literally insert a photo. I've done that before. So I thought this would be like perfect for kind of like spring colors and whatnot. So I'll be able to style that. Okay, so this is probably my favorite one out of the entire haul. And I've been looking for a pair of these and I found these babies. Ooh, check them out. Literally, they weren't even on display. As I was checking out, I asked the lady, I was like, hey, like are those boots, like are they for sale? Are they on hold? And she was like, oh, they just came in. Um, we haven't even put them out on the floor yet. Like, do you wanna look at them? And I was like, yes. And I just like browsed them. And I was like, what size are they? And she was like seven and a half and I was like, Add them to the cart, lady. Add them to the cart. I'm so excited. And you know what's even crazier? I just posted these on my Instagram saying like, oh, like thrift store, whatever finds. And this girl commented, was like, oh my gosh, I literally dropped off those boots the other day. My dad gave these to me like 12 years ago and I had them through like my adolescence and like some fun times. And I was like, I think that's so cool. Like what are the odds? And I just love that we're just like keeping the life on with these boots. It's like the sisterhood of the traveling boots. Anyways, I thought that was cool. So I'm very excited. I've been wanting a pair of these, but I did not want to spend like, you know, a couple hundred bucks because boots are expensive, but these are genuine cowboy boots and they're black. So they'll match with everything. I can't wait to style these. It's so fun. Now into accessories. The first thing is this little vintage wine glass. I have a set of four of them, but I only brought one out. Um, always, always, always for like any like wine glasses or plates and stuff. You can find really good like china or just super cute antique vintage looking glasses that are super funky. Um, so I always recommend doing that. I've actually got quite the collection of glasses now. Like I need an actual like china cabinet cause it's getting a little out of control, but these are so cute and I can't wait to use these on celebrations and whatnot. Okay, this one's kind of random, but it's this like old vintage magazine. It's called Gourmet, the magazine of good living. And truly, it's just like really aesthetically pleasing. And I know that sounds really silly, but I'll be able to use this for like flat lays and stuff. Um, I'll just like quickly flip to a page so you guys can kind of see. This one's probably my favorite page. This is the reason why I got it. I just like love this picture. Like everything about it is what I literally want for summer. Like the ocean and like fresh seafood and champagne. Literally manifesting Europe for the summer. And it says like pre-summer suppers. I just love the orange. So anyways, this was just like a super fun magazine that just like caught my eye. Last thing, might have saved the best for last. And it's this little guy. He's actually not that little. Like he's literally bigger than my head. I love him. Like what a freaking steal. Like this is insane. Look at him. What should I name him? Honestly, I'll probably just call him Romeo. He's so cool. Like, look at his little hand on his shoulder. That's my hand. Anyways, I think he's just awesome. I cannot believe I found this at the vintage store. Okay, so that concludes my little thrifting haul, and I'm just going to say goodbyes on my weekly vlog. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to continue to do them, what you want to see from me. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe. I have all my other social media channels linked below. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.